everybody. Um, so for my portion of the uh, uh, webinar, essentially I'm going to be showing you a couple of the new updates from GoBright, not just what they've uh, already released in response to the changes required by things like COVID and how workplaces are evolving, but also how uh, some of the integrations and future features that are also releasing to continuously evolve their platform to cover these new trends that John mentioned. So at this point I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, one of the major announcements that uh, we've been very happy to uh, mention to everyone over the last couple of weeks is the introduction of a brand new uh, Go, uh, all new GoBright portal which we're going to spend uh, a good, good deal of time looking at today. So um, by all means, GoBright um, during the lockdown period and certainly beforehand have always been a listening company. They've always been looking to develop a platform that ultimately answers the needs of the modern workplace and not just how uh, staff members can, for example, book uh, rooms and desks and also how data, for example, can be um, held together and given to the people within the business who are making those decisions on the direction of their uh, their real estate you know do they need more rooms do they need more desks are they going to be changing buildings and so on and certainly when covid came in uh, that has changed the landscape somewhat and we believe that there's been a lot of acceleration towards um, a focus on agile and flexible working it's not necessarily possible anymore to have one desk per employee um, as we know that majority of people are no longer in the office, um, it now becomes a point where the office is now uh, essentially responding to the needs of the user. So we need to create spaces, not just desks, rooms and, and other parts that essentially allow us to support those activities as and when those staff members need it. And um, one of the brainchilds that GoBright uh, put together in response to a lot of this is to build a new portal. Um, it's essentially a, a new front end that essentially takes a lot of these aspects in and addresses some of the needs people had. So being able to book rooms and spaces much more easily, but also to provide a lot more visibility, knowing that people are now working from home, the more visibility that can be shown in the portal of the office before the employee travels to uh, the business makes it a lot easier to, uh, to operate. And this uh, new interface here essentially represents a lot of that feedback for the last couple of months. And uh, on November the 16th, this will be rolled out as a full update uh, free of charge for everyone who already has GoBright and certainly anyone who is new to it or adding it for the first time will have access to this from that date onwards. Um, for those who have deployed GoBright before, the old interface is not going to be retired immediately. It will still be possible with a small toggle at the bottom here. So it is possible um, for employees to work their way between both interfaces or perhaps to bring in the new interface um, as part of a phased update. It won't just be an instant uh, rollout, but we definitely believe there's a lot of new features here that I think will be useful and uh, will be of high interest to uh, most, most uh, organisations that are deploying or have deployed this already. So let's give you a quick run through. Um, so probably the immediate thing you can see is that they have given this a whole new uh, sort of uh, quite clean, simple looking interface. Um, one thing GoBright uh, recognises that a lot of information uh, that the system was able to provide to users, like where desks were available, were hidden often behind a series of menus. It was necessary to uh, run a search, for example, or, um, before you'd be able to see what rooms or desks were available. So they've tried to change this experience to give visibility um, first, so everything is almost visible straight away uh, from an initial dashboard, which is a, a kind of the new interface you see here. So some of the new features they have added, uh, the key one, of course, is the interactive map. This is no longer something that's just visible on a kiosk in the office. This is now something that you can access anytime you are logged into the web based uh, portal. And you can see here we've actually mocked up uh, what we believe is the typical agile workspace. So we've got a couple of different rooms here of different types and sizes, some sort of collaboration areas as well, and also a number of desks that are kind of separated into different zones. You also have a visibility immediately of uh, times when your rooms and desks are available. So rather than having to run a search each time, um, if you prefer, you can actually click directly on an icon on the map to book something instantly. You can see a list of rooms or desks separate into tabs here, so you can make an instant booking straight away. Under the timeline section in the middle here, you can see any rooms or desks that you've already booked. So perhaps before you travel to the office, you just want to make sure that you've got a desk covering the entire day you're going to be in. You can see a summary here very quick, uh, very quickly of what you already have. And if you do want to make new bookings, of course, you can also click on the timeline and uh, select a slot where you don't already have a room or desk booked and you can make an instant booking that way. 
So let's put that uh, into a bit of a practical example for you. Um, what I'm going to start initially is we'll do a typical desk search. So this is very similar to what we were able to in the portal before. Uh, so we can choose the date on where we're coming to the office. So let's say Friday. And we're going to say that I'm going to be coming in at nine o'clock. So again, you can change the time here. And we're going to say I'm going to be in for eight hours. You can now run a desk search and you'll get a list of spaces that now meet that criteria. Now we're using an early access version of the portal here. So some of the uh, times on loading can be a little bit slow, but on the 16th, this will be heavily optimized. But as you can see here, when we've done this search, it now gives me a list of desks that are compatible. Some of the other new features the portal introduces is the ability to set not just images of the rooms or, uh, or in this case, locations, uh, that you can select from. So you get a much better representation and uh, visibility of the type of space you're booking, whether that be kind of what the room looks like or what space or what area of the building you're booking. But you can also create zones within the building as well. So rather than having a list of, say, 100 desks on one floor, for example, you can actually zone uh, each of these sections into individual uh, areas. And then we've got here zone one, zone two, zone three. And if I actually click on one of these zones, it even highlights on the map which zone I'm now selecting. So it makes it very easy to work out where I'm going to be. And we think zones will also be useful for organisations that perhaps want to encourage their employees to maybe work in specific spaces, but don't necessarily want to restrict them there. So if you had a marketing department that would typically work in the marketing section of the building, then you could assign them to that zone and obviously you can rename the zone marketing, for example, but you're still giving them the flexibility to go to other areas of the building if they need to. So let's go ahead and uh, book one of these desks. Um, at the moment in zone one, there's only one desk that's actually free right now. The rest, we've got two that are currently booked. Um, there's a number that we've actually closed. So we can actually have desks that are, for example, non-bookable. And if you click one of these, for example, it will won't allow you to, uh, to book that desk. So that's very useful for things like social distancing policies that you might roll out. Um, but when we uh, run that search again, then we can again click on any of these desks, for example, and we can book that desk immediately. So we can either use the time frame that we chose when we did the initial search, but it does also offer you some later times uh, when the desk is also available. So if you want to push your appointment back by 30 minutes, again, very easy to do so. And when you're ready, you can hit the book button and have that space booked for you. And at all times, the map is going to be continuously updating itself. So every time you book a space, for example, the map will update itself. Um, you'll also notice we've got a couple of different colours here, um, some of which may be new to you if, you if you haven't been on our previous webinars. So we do uh, use red and green to represent spaces that are free or taken, but we can also have a new uh, couple of colours that have been introduced in response to COVID. And one of the key ones is this purple light here, uh, it's purple status. So this is a feature that GoBright also launched in response to COVID, where if someone, for example, is has or has been using a desk uh, at some point during the day, we can set a policy where instead of the desk going straight back to green when someone has um, finished with the desk and signed out, we can actually have it go to a cleaning status, which basically represents uh, a space that requires a cleaner to disinfect the area before another user can use it. We can see that very clearly on the map. So from a safety point of view, we the user know that we're going to be choosing a space that is sanitary and ready to use and we can avoid the spaces that are in purple. But if you have cleaning staff in the building, for example, they can roam around the office, for example, and rather than having to clean every single desk at preset intervals, so maybe every two hours or at the end of the day, for example, they can actually clean ad hoc and in response to when people have left the desks. So rather than cleaning every desk, they're cleaning the ones that have been used and they themselves can then um, tag their own card on the uh, on the GoBright system, uh, for example, to transition it back from purple back to green again. So they, as the cleaner, can be in charge of them putting these desks back online, uh, ready for the next user to use. So we think some of those features really help to make sure that we can, number one, enforce social distancing, but number two, keep people safe and give them confidence that the space they're using is safe for them to, uh, to work in. Um, by all means, when it comes to room booking, we have a very similar policy. Um, just like the uh, spaces we had here, we can now for the first time have images of each space. And if we click on an image or, or one of the rooms, for example, again, it will highlight that space on the map. So we can see some of the things like discussion space. We've got an Areva themed idea space, for example. And each time we click on one of those, we can see exactly what space it is that we're booking. If I want to book on one of these spaces, again, I can either click the icon on the map or I can simply hit the uh, book button. Sorry, I just accidentally hit something else there. If we hit the idea space. Again, we have the ability to change the times just like we do in Outlook. We can give it a subject. Uh, we can tag it as a private meeting. And of course, we can add things like catering services and uh, 
and we even can facilitate things like AV control, which are additional modules that the GoBright system also supports. Um, so all in all, we think we've got a really nice clean interface here. Um, certainly, if you have customers that are interested in deploying this, uh, by all means, November the 16th is the full release date. Um, but certainly, if there are any uh, screenshots or anything that people want to see beforehand, then we are certainly on hand to uh, give you more information on those and certainly can share or do a demo for any customers who are interested. Um, just to add to this, uh, we don't have it implemented in this uh, early access version of the portal, but there is an analytics uh, page that has also been revamped. So John mentioned that it is very important to be able to correlate a lot of the data on how your office is being used, not just from a desk point of view, but for rooms as well, because again, that will help you to invest uh, in your space or, or even in some cases actually reduce the amount of space you need uh, to cost save. But that can only be done if you have accurate data in which you can base those decisions on. So GoBright does have some facilities to be able to compare uh, things like room and desk usage. We can either compare uh, specific spaces so we can monitor how uh, where our, maybe our problem rooms are or maybe certain areas of the building that are essentially being unused but we can also compare long-term trends we can understand perhaps when people are returning to the office in phases come next year we can understand how that uh, usage is going up over time we can run it over a few months and we can then make our decisions uh, you know six months down the line knowing that the trend supports the direction in which we're going so again, there's a, a really nice platform here that we can use to drill down on further data and use this as a way of feeding and constantly evolving the office in response to uh, changing usage. So